morning without so much as a how do you do? You know what he's talking about? No, nope. let me ask him. Leonard, what are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it. That's a lousy suggestion. <laughs> Ever. Right now, Dr. Sheldon Cooper has to send an email to his perfect match. Greetings, fellow life form. <laughs> Do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. I can't do it. Hello? Oh, 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 hi, oh, hey. hi, Leslie. <laughs> Leonard Hofstadter, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I know. It's been a while. Yeah, 18 months. Right, right. <laughs> so how you doing? Fine. You? Uh, not bad. Uh, do you remember um, when we used to have sex and you said that it didn't mean anything, it was just for fun? Yeah. Do, do, do you want, want to do that again? What happened? Blondie dumped you? She didn't dump me. We were just in different places in the relationship. Right. Um, anyway, uh, uh, apparently it's okay to go back to people you're no longer seeing and have recreational sex with them. Uh-huh. So what do you say? <laughs> Let me think about it. She's not coming back. Uh-oh. She wants to meet us. Not us, him. Yes, but him doesn't even know about her. Well, him about to find out about her. Really? Us gonna tell him? Who's going to tell whom about what? Sheldon, hey, hi. Your surprise confuses me. I live here. <laughs> right, uh, so listen, <clears throat> what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Be more specific, 4.30. That's not afternoon, that's pre-evening. <laughs> what? It's a time of day I invented. It better defines the ambiguous period between afternoon and evening. Pre-evening. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it will catch on as it feels a desperate need. Right, okay, what are you doing tomorrow pre-evening? Well, tomorrow's Saturday. Saturday night is laundry night, so I'll be spending the pre-evening pre-sorting and pre-soaking. Okay, what if I were to tell you tomorrow at 4.30 you could meet a woman who has been scientifically chosen to be your perfect mate? I would snort in derision and throw my arms in the air, exhausted by your constant tomfoolery. Uh, but it's true. <laughs> we put all your vital information into this dating site, answered all their questions just like you would, and they found a match for you. Her name is Amy Ferrer Fowler. Please, even assuming you could answer any question the way I would, the algorithms used by matchmaking sites are complete hokum. And that's exactly the answer we gave to the question, what is your attitude towards online dating? Well, Howard wanted to write mumbo jumbo, but I said no. Our Sheldon would say, hokum. <laughs> Wait, come on, where's your scientific curiosity? Well, most of it is being applied to unraveling the secrets of the universe, while the rest of it's wondering why I'm having this conversation with you. <laughs> oh, okay, how about this? Even Spock had a date once every seven years. He didn't date, it was pawn far. His blood boiled with mating lust. <laughs> Okay, but why don't you start with a cup of coffee and you can pawn far Amy Farrah Fowler later. I don't drink coffee. All right, you can have a hot chocolate. As I will not be engaging in this nonsense, my choice of beverage is moot. But for the record, I only drink hot chocolate in months with an R in them. Why? What's life without whimsy? <laughs> okay, I'm out. Sheldon, I've hidden the dirty sock from the roof somewhere in your apartment. <laughs> Unless you're willing to come with us to meet this girl, it will remain there forever. You're bluffing. Are you willing to risk it? Curse you. 